What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So I know I said recently that I would try and record more videos more often and that was the plan but I had multiple doctor's appointments that led to a bunch of questions and I needed time to fully take in what was going on and I also wanted to get everything straightened out before I came on here and discuss what was going on. So I'm going to break it up into different videos by different doctors or illnesses, whichever. And the main one I want to start with today is the reason I'm starting with it is because I have more answers to this one than I do the other ones. And this one started about two weeks ago. Or actually, started about two months ago. Two months ago, I had my thyroid checked and the numbers came back perfectly normal they were a little bit lower than what they were a year ago, but they weren't significantly low. Like, there wasn't any, like, reason to think that something was wrong. And about two weeks ago, I had a carotid ultrasound just to check for any narrowing. And they always do that if you have a heart problem, if you have a connective tissue disorder, little things like that. So the doctor told me before I did the ultrasound, if nothing was wrong, I wouldn't have to come back if anything. I would have to come back in in two weeks, and that's just to see how I was feeling and to see if there was any new symptoms that were going on because I was having a lot of pre-syncope episodes, which are episodes where you start to black out or you do pass out. But mine is where I'm able to catch myself before I fall, which is a good thing. So I thought, okay, maybe this is why. Maybe there's narrowing. Um, so I had the ultrasound done. And the day after, I received a call from the doctor's office saying that I need to come in as soon as possible. I told him, I go, well, he said if nothing was wrong, I wouldn't have to come in for two weeks, if anything. Well, he said, I'm sorry. I don't know. All I know is that he wants you to come in as soon as possible. I said, okay, I don't drive. Can it wait until Friday or Monday when my mom can take me? And they said, sure, but make sure you come in as soon as possible. I said, okay, let me call my mom. Let me figure out what's going on, how I can get there. My mom came home. I asked her, I go, didn't they say, well, specifically more, I, I called her at work completely upset, panicking. I said, I go, I don't understand. Didn't the doctor say that if anything, I had to come back in two weeks? And she said, yeah. And um, we said we'd talk about it when she got home because I was a mess. I needed to calm down. So... My mom came home. I went and I talked to her. I said, okay, am I, I don't understand. Did I miss something at the appointment? And she said, no, that, that's exactly what the doctor said. I said, okay, um, when do you think I could go in? And she said, okay, we'll make an appointment for Friday or Monday. So I called the doctor's office the next day and they said, okay, can you come in? Or actually I called them that same day, I believe. No, next day, sorry. I called them the next day. First thing in the morning, I said, okay, can I come in Friday or Monday? And they said, sure, but he's in a different office on Friday. I go, that's fine. I'll still make it to that, to where he's at right now. And they go, okay. So I set up the appointment for that. I went and I asked them. First, I, my mistake was I thought that they said that my appointment was that same day. So I happened to call again and I checked to see what was going on. They said, no, I'm sorry, your appointment to Friday. I was like, okay. See, my days were completely mixed up. I thought it was Friday, but it was Thursday. My appointment was on Friday. So I was, I'm just going to contribute that to the fact that I was still trying to take in everything. But Friday came around. Um, I went to the appointment with my mom, of course. And I had my EKG done, which you have one done every single time you see the cardiologist. When he came in, he said, your heart looks good. And at the moment, I'm looking at him like, okay, if my heart looks good, why am I here? And he goes, but we found a mass on your thyroid. And I just sat completely in shock. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to feel at that moment. I just wanted to hurry up and get out of that office. I was so emotional to the point where I couldn't even look at my mom because I knew if I looked at her, I was going to cry. And she knew that if she touched me, I was going to cry or she was going to cry. We did, we weren't expecting that. We were expecting him to say, you have a slight narrowing and all we have to do is put in a stent and that's it, done. Don't have to worry about it anymore. 
but I just looked at him completely in shock. He goes, hold on, let me double check to make sure this is yours. At that moment, I'm thinking, please don't let it be mine. Please let it be a mistake. He goes, I'm sorry, it is yours. Um, do you have an endocrinologist? And I said, yeah. And at that moment, I'm not thinking clearly at all, like, why does he want me to see her? He goes, I need you to see her as soon as possible, like no waiting. I go, okay, I can call her right after I leave here. She'll get me in as soon as possible. And he told me just to leave it to her because that is more her area of expertise because it does have to do with hormones. And she is one of the many that check it for me. So that's exactly what I did. I got in the car. I called the office. They said, we can't get you until July 5th. I go, okay, that's not going to work. I need to get in now, like as soon as possible. And they said, okay, let me have the doctor call you back and we'll figure it out. Within like five, 10 minutes, I got a call back from the office. And they said, can you come in? I think it was like the next like, Tuesday, I think. Yeah. So it was like the next week, like three or four days after all of this. So I went the weekend, still panicked about what was going on because I didn't pay, I didn't pay much attention to it. But I did have the signs of it. I did have trouble swallowing. But I also have vocal cord spasms and I have really bad allergies. And with both of those, it can feel like it's hard to swallow. It can feel like it's tight. And I didn't think anything of it. I haven't checked my neck in a while. Usually I do. Usually my mom checks it. But I knew whatever it, whatever had happened, happened within a matter of two months. One, because my blood work was normal. Two, because I have multiple doctors that check it and nobody felt any lump or anything. But at the visit with my cardiologist, he checked to see if maybe there was just a mistake. He felt my, my, my throat and everything and he said no, he could feel it. So that night, um, I got home and my mom felt it and she said, yeah, I can feel it. And I was again in shock, didn't know how to deal with it. I was just happy that I would be able to see the doctor, the endocrinologist, as soon as possible. Tuesday came around. I went into my appointment, and she thought I was just going in to go over um, blood work that I had, had done for her about two, yeah, about two months ago when I had my thyroid blood checked. She's like, oh, your blood work looks great. There was only one that's off that I already was dealing with the one that was off. And she goes, I go, well, that's not why I'm here. And she goes, okay. I go, I have a mass on my thyroid. And she looked shocked too. Like, okay, how did this happen within a matter of two months? And she went over both scenarios. If it was cancer, if it was benign, what we would do, what, how things would go. I told her, I said, okay, I understand. She goes, let's do an in-office ultrasound just so I can take a look and go, okay, that's fine. So we do that. And she goes, okay, I don't see anything. There's nothing wrong. She goes, let me have you turn your neck so I can show you. So I turn my neck and she pushes the ultrasound, the little probe thing, against my neck harder. And she goes, she's explaining all the, the airway to me, the food pipe, all that. And she just stops. She's explaining and she stops and she just would not take her eyes off the screen. I knew at that moment something wasn't right. Something caught her eye that wasn't normal. And she goes, okay, I think that's it, but it looks smaller than what I feel. And she goes, I wouldn't worry about it. I'll have you go downstairs to make an appointment and see when you can have a more in-depth ultrasound done. I said, okay, that's fine. So I went downstairs. I asked them when the soonest one to be able to have my appointment done was. They said, um, can you come back today at two o'clock. This time it was like 12, yeah, like 12, 1230. I said, sure, that's fine. I'll come back as long as I can do it today. They said, yes, just come back at two o'clock and we'll get you in. So that's what I did. I came back at two o'clock. I signed in and everything. And the ultrasound tech was really nice to me. She kept talking to me. She knew I was nervous that I wasn't comfortable with anything. Not that I, I wasn't uncomfortable with her. I just was uncomfortable with the situation because I didn't know what was going on. I don't like when I don't know what's going on, especially when it comes to my health. So she 
looked at both sides and to me and the doctors, the number one side that you could feel it was the right side. So I just, in my head, that's all it was. It was on the right side and there was nothing on the left side. And towards the end of it, she said, I don't see anything major to worry about. So I was like, okay, so there's something to worry about. But I didn't want to ask her because honestly, I just wanted to hurry up and get my results. And I wanted to get out of there. I, again, didn't know how to deal with it at the moment. So I had that done. And I asked her, okay, when do I get the results? She said, three or four business days, but you can't count Monday because Monday is a holiday. I said, okay, that's fine. So I went the weekend without having any answers. I had hoped I would get it by Friday since I had it done on Tuesday, but I didn't. And I was still nervous throughout the whole weekend because I didn't know how to explain it to anybody. I didn't know what was going on. I just knew something was wrong. I knew she saw something but she couldn't say anything. So on Monday, or no, sorry, Monday, they couldn't give it to me because it was a holiday. Today's Tuesday, this morning at 6 a.m., I got up like I normally do to feed my dog, take my medicine, all that stuff. And something told me to check my email. I don't know what it is. I usually do check my email, but I check it later on in the day. And I went on to my email. I didn't see anything. So I just kept looking through my computer. And then I said, okay, let me refresh. Let me check one more time. So I did. And it said, you have new test results in. I was excited and scared because I didn't know what it was going to say. I was excited because I finally had an answer to it. Nervous and scared because I didn't know which way it was going to go. And so I read my results. Well, actually, I went to my mom because I didn't understand something. Like some of it has way bigger words than what I understand. And I asked her, I said, okay, my, my results are in. She goes, okay, read it to me. So that's what I did. I read it to her. And it said that there's a four millimeter cyst on my left, the left thyroid. Which is weird because all of the swelling and puffiness is on the right side. And that's where the doctors felt it. So I don't get how something so small could cause so many problems on a side that I don't even feel it. And they didn't feel it. So I don't understand why the right side is like completely puffy. Give me, pro give me problems when I sleep and everything. My mom said, well, it's in the back. So maybe it's pushing on it because it is inferior. So I... I was just trying to take it all in again and my mom goes okay well now you don't have to stress you know it's a cyst you don't have to um I didn't have to be upset about it and I agreed I was glad to know that it was a cyst I am still uncomfortable with it because it's giving me a hard time swallowing because it a lot of it is just hard to take in because I don't get in the first place how this came to be within a matter of two months. How did something get like that? And why is it pressing onto the other side if it's so small? So I see my neurologist in, I believe, two weeks. And I absolutely trust him with my life. He has saved my vision before. He's always on it. So I know that when I see him, He's going to probably have me redo my blood work. I'm going to explain to him that I'm still uncomfortable with this. I get that the ultrasound said it's a cyst, but I need to know why the right side is more swollen and why did it happen in two months. So I'm just still at this moment trying to learn to become okay with it, but I know that that's going to take some time and I'm going to come back with another video as soon as I have more answers from my neurologist and everything like that to kind of keep you guys updated. But as for now, all I know is that I have a four millimeter cyst on my left thyroid and they usually just leave that alone because if it's bigger than one centimeter, they do biopsies. I do not know if it ruptures on its own. If any of you guys have had cysts on your thyroid, leave a comment down below and let me know your guys' experience because I have never had this before. I've had ovarian cysts, things like that. I've never had a cyst on my thyroid. But that's all for this time, guys. Thank you.